Even in the winter, the garden at Salisbury District Hospital's spinal unit looks stunning and inviting. It's a space to be used every day of the year, and it's all in memory of Horatio. The teenager from Bishopstone near Salisbury worked here as a volunteer the year before he died. Following his death in the Arctic in 2012 in Norway, his family were determined that Horatio's little seed of an idea would grow. But he was a very kind boy and he was very thoughtful because he couldn't believe that there was nowhere for the patients to go to get outside. Um, so he came up with the idea, talking with my husband at home, that this area here, which at that stage was just a bit of rough grass, could become a garden. And what came out of that were the two things which have now become the criteria for us as a national charity, which are the gardens have to be absolutely beautiful, but also completely accessible, so that patients in wheelchairs, patients in beds, can get into the garden and enjoy the space. And that's exactly what happens. Many of these patients are here for months on end. For the first time, I breathe fresh air. It's such a wonderful thing <laughs> to believe in that as we take it so granted, for you know, the fresh air makes such a lovely thing. You know. I've been lying in bed for three months inside in a hospital environment. It's just amazing. It's great. I've been out here pretty much every day since because the feeling of being outside, especially in such a nice garden, is just unbelievable. Horatio's Gardens wants to have a therapeutic garden in every spinal unit across the country. Work starts in Glasgow in the next few weeks and fundraising for the new garden at Stoke Mandeville is now well underway. Ali Bowles, BBC Points West, Salisbury.